Hey guys, we have been given the center point of a circle and a point on that circle, and we wanna figure out what the equation for that circle is, okay? So we are going to use the standard form of a circle. I probably just said circle like 15 times, you're welcome. So you're probably familiar with this. If we know our center and our radius, this is super easy to fill in, right, and get our equation. Well, looking at this, I have the center but I don't have the radius, but they have given me a way to find the radius, which is a point on the circle, okay? So usually what I like to do with a problem like this is just kind of quickly sketch what it looks like. Um, this isn't gonna be perfect or beautiful, but it just kind of gives me an idea, right? So the center of my circle is at zero, four. So my center is approximately there. And there is a point on my circle at negative two, nine. So about there, okay? So the circle goes around something like that, right? So if I know from the center to that point, that would be my radius, right? If I knew that length or that distance. So how do I find the distance between two points? Do you remember? Distance formula, right? Okay, so we're gonna use the distance formula to figure out the distance between these two points and that will be our radius, okay? So if you need a review on the distance formula, I'm gonna do it here, but if you need a little bit more of a review, I will link a video in the corner for you, okay? But, so we have our two points that we are looking for the distance between, right? So first thing I like to do is label them. So we've got x, y and x, y. And then we just decide which group is our ones and which group is our twos. So we'll just have these guys be the ones and these guys be the twos, okay? And then I'm gonna fill in my distance formula, okay? So my distance is the square root of x2, which is negative two, minus x1, which is just zero, squared plus y2, which is nine, minus y1, which is four, squared. Okay, now let's simplify this down a little bit. So I'm going to have the square root of negative two minus zero is just negative two, right? So I'm gonna have negative two squared plus nine minus four gives me five, so I'm gonna have five squared, okay? It's looking a little less scary already, right? Now we're gonna have the square root of negative two squared is negative two times negative two, so that gives me a positive four, plus five squared is five times five, which is 25, okay? All right, so now I've got four plus 25, which gives me the square root of 29. Okay, that is the distance between those two points, or we would like to call it in this case, our radius, because it goes from the center to the edge of my circle. Okay, so now if we plug the square root of 29 into our calculator, it's not gonna be a pretty number. Okay, so for now, we're just gonna leave it as the square root of 29, but just hang with me, it's gonna be okay. All right, so now, in order to fill this out, I need my center, which I have, and my radius, which we found, right? So now I can go ahead and fill this in, okay? So I'm going to have, remember my X and Y are gonna stay in X and Y, and we are filling in the numbers for H, K, and R, okay? So we are going to have X minus h, which h is the first number in the ordered pair of my center, so happens to be zero, squared plus y minus k, which is the second number in my center, so four, squared equals the radius, which we figured out using the distance formula, was the square root of 29, and that is squared right? Okay, that looks a little scary, but guess what? Square roots and squares cancel each other out, so I'm just left with 29. So let's quickly rewrite this. 
x minus 0 is just x, right? So I can just write it as x squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 29, okay? So that, my friends, is the equation of a circle that center is at 0, 4 and goes through the point negative 2, 9. Okay, hopefully this made sense. If you need some more circle videos, I will link a playlist for you. Bye.